Hi. So here we have one more work and time related problem. So let's first read the statement. The statement says A, B and C can do a piece of work in 20 hours. If B alone can do the same in 80 hours, how long will A and C take to do it together? If C alone can do the work in 60 hours, how long will A take to do it alone? So here we have to find two things. First thing is in how much time A and C together will be able to finish the job. And we also have to find the time taken by A if he does the job alone. So since here we have time in hours, the working capacity of A, B and C, we will assume the fraction of job done by them in one hour, not in one day, right? So the working capacity is actually the job done in unit time. And since here the time is given in hours, so the working capacity of A, B and C will be the job done by them individually in one hour. So we are going to assume the working capacities of A, B and C as A, B and C itself. So what they are saying? They are saying A, B and C together can finish the job in 20 hours. That means 20 multiplied by A plus B plus C is equal to 1. A plus B plus C is the job done by A, B and C together in 1 hour. And since they are taking 20 hours to finish the job, I have multiplied A plus B plus C by 20. And again, we have to consider the job as unit. So 20 multiplied by A plus B plus C is equal to 1, right? So if we divide both sides by 20, we will get A plus B plus C is equal to 1 by 20. And I'm going to call this as equation number 1. Right? And what they are saying in the next part of the statement? They are saying if B alone can do the same job in 80 hours, that means 80 multiplied by B will be 1 or B will be equal to 1 by 80. Let's call this as equation number 2. So what we have to find? We have to find how long will A and C take to do it together. That means we have to find the time taken by A and C to finish the job. So if we put the value of B in equation number 1, we will get A plus 1 by 80 plus C is equal to 1 by 20 or A plus C is equal to 1 by 20 minus 1 by 80. LCM of 20 and 80 is 80. 80 divided by 20 is 4. 4 multiplied by 1 is 4. 80 divided by 80 is 1. 1 multiplied by 1 is 1. So this will be equal to 3 by 80. Right? So the working capacity of A and C together will be 3 by 80. This means A and C together can finish 3 by 80th fraction of the job in 1 hour. So time taken by A and C will be 80 by 3 or Twenty six two by three hours. So this is our one solution. And what we have to find next? They have told us that if C alone can do the work in sixty hours, we have to find the time taken by A to finish the job alone. That means the working capacity of C is one by sixty. We have to find the working capacity of a. 
So if I call this as equation number 3, let's substitute the value of b and c in equation number 1, then we will be able to find the value of a. So we will get a plus 1 by 80, the value of b from equation number 2, plus 1 by 60, the value of c from equation number 3 is equal to 1 by 20, right? From here, we will get a is equal to 1 by 20 minus 1 by 80 minus 1 by 60. LCM over here will be 240. 240 divided by 20 will be 12. 12 multiplied by 1 is 12 minus 240 divided by 80 is 3. 3 multiplied by 1 is 3. 240 divided by 60 is 4. 4 multiplied by 1 is 4 again. So this is equal to 12 minus 3 is 9. 9 minus 4 is 5. 5 by 240. Or 5 1s are 5, 5 4s are 20, 5 8s are 40. So we have got A is equal to 1 by 48. That means A alone will take 48 hours to finish the job. So these and this, these two are desired results.